Good evening as we come on the air in the West tonight and we begin with that breaking news. President Trump just moments ago in the East Room of the White House revealing Judge Neil Gorsuch is his pick for the Supreme Court. President Trump saying I am a man of my word, saying many voters told him this was their singular issue, the most important issue, the future direction of the Supreme Court. President Trump making the announcement in prime time, Judge Gorsuch and his wife Louise to the side there. The moment at this hour, a departure from previous presidents, President Trump hoping to drive up viewership. Judge Gorsuch, if confirmed, would be quite young, 49, turning 50 this year. President Trump alluding to that, saying his pick, if confirmed, could serve a very long time. President Trump, as a candidate, said he would replace the late Justice Antonin Scalia with someone who would, quote, be Scalia reincarnated. ABC's Terry Moran, who covers the Supreme Court for us tonight, he's there this evening. And Terry, a lot of comparisons to the late Justice Scalia. Absolutely, David. Promise kept by President Trump on this score. There's no question that Neil Gorsuch has modeled his career, his thinking, his judging on Judge Justice Antonin Scalia. He is someone who, like Justice Scalia, sticks to the letter and the text of the law and its original meeting, and he doesn't bring in the way society might have changed or what the uh, intention of legislators might have been. He is a very Scalia-esque judge. And Terry, even his writings have been compared to Justice Scalia, described as exceptionally clear, but one person added routinely entertaining as well. He's a fine writer. Uh, there is a big difference between Judge Neil Gorsuch and Justice Antonin Scalia. There's nothing Justice Scalia liked more than a good fight. Uh, and you knew you were in a fight with him uh, if you tangled with him. Judge Gorsuch has a much more collegial and, and kind of warmer personality on the page and in person. And that means he could uh, perhaps build some coalitions. But this was in the East Room of the White House, a spectacle. It was quite a moment. In the East Room tonight, President Trump. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoying the primetime spotlight as he announced his Supreme Court pick, Judge Neil Gorsuch. So was that a surprise, was it? Judge Gorsuch has outstanding legal skills, a brilliant mind, tremendous discipline, and has earned bipartisan support. When he was nominated to the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals, he was confirmed by the Senate unanimously. Also, that's unanimous. Can you believe that nowadays with what's going on? Yeah. Judge Gorsuch stepping forward, speaking of the honor of the moment. Standing here in a house of history and acutely aware of my own imperfections, I pledge that if I am confirmed, I will do all my powers permit to be a faithful servant of the Constitution and laws of this great country. A judge who likes every outcome he reaches is very likely a bad judge, <laughs> stretching for results he prefers rather than those the law demands. I am so thankful tonight for my family, my friends, and my faith. Gorsuch, 49, a federal appeals court judge in Denver with sterling credentials, Harvard Law, Oxford University, known as a fine writer and a staunch conservative in the mold of Justice Scalia. Not only are we looking at the writings of the nominee, and I studied them closely, but he is said to be among the finest and most brilliant, oftentimes the writings of any judge for a long, long time. I studied every aspect of his life, he could have had any job at any law firm for any amount of money. But what he wanted to do with his career was to be a judge, to write decisions, and to make an impact by upholding our laws and our Constitution. But here's the, the court, a critical issue for Mr. Trump's supporters in the campaign, and he knew it. You have to vote for me anyway. You know why? Supreme Court judges. Supreme Court judges. Judges. With this appointment, the court's delicate balance won't change. President Trump's pick replacing Justice Scalia to form the four-man conservative bloc, squaring off against the four liberals, three of them women, with Justice Anthony Kennedy, 80 years old, the crucial swing vote. You look at Scalia, and you can do that, and you can duplicate that, and as far as I'm concerned, it would be absolutely worth it. The court's agenda in the coming years expected to include abortion rights cases, the battle to overturn Roe v. Wade still raging. I am pro-life, and I will be appointing pro-life judges. And cases driven by President Trump's nationalist agenda, like immigration and refugee issues, including the president's controversial executive order, voting rights, especially as the president claims massive electoral fraud, and the scope of presidential powers. 
And so let's get back to Terry Moran live. And Terry, we know there was no action taken on President Obama's pick for Supreme Court for 10 months. Republicans would not move on it. So tonight, are the Democrats planning the same strategy? Any hints? Well, it looks, David, like they're spoiling for a fight. Some of them call this a stolen seat because of what Republicans did to President Obama's nominee. And they're already bringing up a case that Judge Gorsuch ruled on uh, where he said that employers do not have to provide contraceptive coverage under Obamacare if they have religious objections to that. And Democrats are going to make an issue of that or try. Terry Moran tonight at the court leading us off. Terry, thanks so much. And what are the...